When I was 12 years old, I was arrested for breaking and entering. My family never got along so well, so I was always on the streets. I was really into drugs and drinking and just doing the party life thing. I was a habitual liar. When I got caught up in the gang, I didn't know what I was thinking. I was really slow at reading. I think I was a third grade level. I had nothing to do. I would go to school, come home to nothing, I'd play video games, not do my homework. I wasn't going to graduate from high school. I didn't have enough credits. I did not like going to school. I hated school. We are intervening in the life of a kid and preventing them from ending up in incarceration on welfare, um, which all comes out of the taxpayer fund. We're the best kept secret in our state and in our nation. Get up! Get up! I've always had a problem with um, authority figures like police, teachers, parents, let alone the military because I know how structured and how demanding they can be. First day I already had people yelling at me. You know that they're the boss. Why don't you go ahead and just start pushing? We do a lot of PT. Our programs are not boot camps. Boot camp is 12 weeks of regiment trying to get young men and women ready to go to war. We're trying to get our young men and women ready to go back to school. The Challenge Program is a school, but it is a school with a military support. The cadre, they really know what to do and how to get you motivated and on track. The teacher can teach and literally get to the academic and social emotional needs of the students without dealing with the discipline angle. These young kids come to our program voluntarily. I felt like, you know, my family was beginning to give up on me. I, ne I needed, like, an extra push. They have to want to be here, and what that really boils down to is they have to want to change their life. The Youth Challenge started in 1993 because members of the Congress realized that there were far too many students dropping out of schools nationally. We're serving a population of students that have fallen through the crack, that society's not addressing. They're here for five and a half months with the teachers and the, the cadre at the academy. And then in the post-residential phase, they're meeting with their mentor. When I would spend time with my mentor, he would show me an, another side of life that I'm not really familiar with. He talked to me a lot about what I should be doing and like how I could get there. She's like someone I could go to besides my mother. Um, in a letter to my mentor, I wrote to him about my past life with my father and I wrote to him about how I'm going through this emotional distress right now. And it was like, just knowing that he was there for me. I don't think I would have stayed in the program as long as I have if it wasn't for my mentor. They haven't had a lot of adults that they could trust in their life. When you build on that trust, then they're willing to come to you, you know, through thick and thin. We were having our difficulties and I just told my mom that I'm gonna go live with my dad. And Marissa told me that I could go live with her. That's when I knew she really cared. We just kind of hit it off. You know, we liked each other, and I thought, you know, she's really worth saving. If there was no challenge program, they would be lost. I'd be in some serious trouble right now. I'm probably locked up, dead. Without the challenge program, I wouldn't have just the mental stability and the um, discipline and the, you know, the patience and the perseverance and the integrity and the honor. One thing for certain that we do very well here, I think we give them their dreams back. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. If you have a plan and if you have the education. I'm thinking of a, a young lady in particular based on her academic assessments. Very bright, very bright and absolutely a beautiful girl. But she had an attitude that um, was really, really getting in the way of her success. So she ended up in a board with me and that means, you know, you may stay, you may go. I had the opportunity to take a group of students to the beach. And one young man, he lived within 30 minutes of the beach and had never seen the ocean. Every time we would talk, I would just take her outside and we'd sit back on the, on the picnic table and we'd just talk. And she had a horrible history of abuse. And I worked with her. She turned herself around and 
she graduated. She's a great kid. She's got a job. She's got a future. She's probably going to end up being a model. I asked him, what was the main reason you came to the academy? He said, I've seen my brother die in a gang-related shooting. My uncle is in prison. My sister, we don't know where she is. He said, all I want to do is just grow up. When you see somebody stand there and say, I live 30 minutes away from the ocean my whole life and I've never seen it. It's pretty incredible and profound to be able to witness that with these kids. And that's the whole thing. We are witnessing every step of their growth. There was people here that cared. There's people out there that really cared about me that I didn't know of. When I get out of here, there's no way I'm going to go back to the gang. Because I know what I want to be and how to get there. And I'm going to get there.